in this lecture we will do a lecture on descriptive statistics and we will discuss about mean median mode variance standard deviation covariance and correlation we will keep it very simple we will use simple arithmetic to explain these concepts and i'll try to correlate with practical examples and see of how this can help us to communicate better so let's jump in so here we would first explain the mean so the data set that we are considering is a very simple data set it has got 10 student grades and these are the grades so the mean is the sum of all the observations which i have done by the sum and then divided by the total number of observations which is 10 so it is 70 by 10 that is 7 so that is the mean and this is arithmetic mean next we go to the median so median is a value of the middle item where all the items are arranged in either ascending or descending order in terms of values so what we do is the same data set that we are considering and then what we are doing is that we are sorting it and then what is the middle term the number of elements is 10 so 10 plus 1 by 2 that is a 5.5 term so that is we choose the fifth term that is 6 and we choose the sixth term that is 7 and then we sum it up and then we divide by 2 that is 6.5 so the median is 6.5 what is the mode the mode is the number of times a value appears the most in a data set here it is four items are there and they are occurring the most and that is why the number 6 which occurs the most here is the mode 7 occurs twice and the all the others are occurring once but 6 appears the most four times therefore this is a mode what is the mean absolute deviation it is the absolute of the observation minus the mean and then we sum everything up and then we divide it by the number of observations so here let's take this example we have the student grades the mean is 7 and then we do an absolute of the observation minus the mean so you see it is it is the observation minus the mean so this is the value that we are getting and then we add it up we sum it up and then we divide it by the number of observations so 12 by 10 that is 1.2 so it is very simple take take the observation subtract it from the mean and then do an absolute and then you add it up we are adding it up and then we are dividing it by the number of observations so the number of observations is 10 so that is why we are dividing it by 10 what is variance so before we go into variance we'll discuss two important concepts that is the population and the sample so the population is the whole data set that means say for example we are considering the population of men in india okay so that is the whole population but if we are investigating and we are getting the data then it is a sample so if i sample say Uh, 200 people in india men in india then it is a sample so in this there is a population variance what is it it is the x minus mean square we first do that and then we sum it up and divide it by n the sample variance is the only difference is that we divide it by n minus 1 so and the population standard deviation is the square root of the population variance and the sample standard deviation is the square root of the sample variance so how are we calculating it it is the same i have the student grades i have the mean and then we are doing x minus mean so that this is the value so the mean x minus mean and then we do x minus mean square so it is the same thing multiplied and then we are summing it up we are summing everything down here and then we are dividing it by n which is 10 so that is the variance and the standard deviation is the square root of the variance and we are getting this 
what is covariance covariance is a measure of the relationship between two random variables and to what extent they change together the population covariance of x and y is given by x minus x bar x bar is the mean of x y minus y bar y bar is the mean of y divided by n for the populations and for the sample it is the it is it is n minus 1 covariance is is good but i think we if there is a much more better way of representing the relationship between two variables correlation is good because the values range between 1 and minus 1 a 1 represents a perfect positive relationship and a minus 1 represents a negative relationship and zero indicates there is no relationship between the variables the correlation is given by covariance of x and y divided by the standard deviation of x multiplied by the standard deviation of y so let's jump in and see an example here taking the employee hourly wages so this is here and the years of schooling so here how we do it is x minus mean x mean x is given by this which is we are doing the average and we are finding the mean x x minus mean x is this y minus mean y is this and then we are multiplying it you saying we are multiplying these two values and then we are summing it up we are summing it up and then we are dividing it by the number of observations here it is 10 So one hundred three point five five divided by ten, hun ten point three five five. So this is how you see how it correlates with this, with this uh, formula out here. So here, since it is a population that we are considering, we are doing it by n. So this is the employee hourly wages and schooling. Next, we would calculate the correlation. The correlation is what. the correlation is the covariance of x and y which we have calculated divided by the sigma x and the sigma y so the correlation is we will discuss the correlation here so for that we want to find the standard deviation of x and the standard deviation of y so how are we doing it here is the dollars and here is the mean x that is a dollar and then we are doing x minus that is the observation minus mean x we are finding this and then we are doing the square of x minus mean x so this is it we sum it up and then we divide it by the number of observations that is 10 and then we are doing a square root to give the standard deviation of x we do the similar thing with y and we find the standard deviation of y the covariance of x and y we have already calculated and now what we are doing is that we are getting the standard deviation of x we are getting the standard deviation of y and the correlation of x and y is covariance of x divided by the standard deviation of x into the standard deviation of y you can do it by excel without doing all these calculations by using the correl function and you pass in these two arrays and that's how you can get the same result so if we look back and once we have understood the mean median mode mean absolute deviation variance covariance and correlation let's uh, take a very simple example and say suppose you are do doing a performance testing of a bad job say it takes around 10 minutes so when you communicate with somebody i think it would be worthwhile if you have a lot of observations you just don't tell something like it is 10 minutes you might tell that the mean is 10 minutes the median is some value the standard deviation is some value and this would give a very good explanation of the total distribution of observations so this will help you to communicate much more better and once you try to do this you will also gain an insight that why the standard deviation is large and why the standard deviation is low so why how, how much is it varying from the mean so this will help you to communicate better in the next lecture what we will do is that we will try to find a much more deeper relationship between mean and standard deviation using chebyshev theorem 
and um, we will also rule at uh, look at an empirical rule which gives us a very nice relation between mean and standard deviation hope you enjoyed the lecture thank you bye